Hello everyone, welcome back to another Stitches and Scribbles video. My name is Erin and today I'm working on a gift for a friend so I thought I'd kind of take you along and do a crochet with me. So this gift is actually already partially finished. I have a friend who is expecting another baby. So I in the past made her a baby blanket for her first child so I decided to make something for baby number two. So the blanket is actually already finished. I did this very simple um, linen stitch square. I used the tutorial from TL Yarncrafts because she used a linen stitch square to make her temperature blanket in, I believe it was 2021. So that's the tutorial I followed. I really, really love this stitch. Um, at this point, you've probably also seen my linen stitch or moss stitch um, hexagon cardigan. So. Definitely love this stitch, used it for my own temperature blanket as well, just in rows instead of in a square. But I've been wanting to make some more stuff with it. So I finished the blanket, but I had another skein of this yarn that my hook is apparently stuck to. Another skein of this yarn. This is the Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn in the color Pistachio, which I think may have been discontinued, but this is the yarn I'm using. And I also bought some teether rings from Hobie. Um, these are little silicone rings for teething babies so I'm gonna make a little like lovey or whatever you call it to attach to one of these teethers and I figured I'd show you what I'm up to.
right here is the finished square. I love how these colors turned out. So fun and vibrant. Um, I did 18 rows on this square. Really the goal was just to kind of make it big enough for baby to hold on to. And I'm going to attach one of the little teether things to the center. And here is the finished piece. So it's just that little square that I showed you. And then I did about 10 stitches of single crochet and just turned it into a loop and looped it through the little teether. I think these teether things from Hobby are, or Hobie, I think it's pronounced Hobie, are really great to add to crochet projects that make something very unique. I picked the little star ones because I knew that I had this green yarn to work with, but they had some really cute ones that were shaped like little animal paws so that you could make a stuffed animal, obviously baby safe with the safety eyes and everything, um, and have the teethers be the little feet, which I think is adorable. But yeah, I would highly recommend this product from Hobie. It's, it is a knit and crochet supply website, and I believe they have a specific baby item section, otherwise it's just kind of in the accessories section of their website. But yeah, really happy with how this turned out. I'll do one final shot of the blanket and the teether together. All right, and here is both of the final pieces. So I have the blanket that used two skeins of the ice cream yarn, and even though I'm pretty sure this color is discontinued, the ice cream yarn is still being made in different color palettes, and I highly recommend it. Um, I just haven't seen this shades of green and gray set anymore, so it could still exist. It might not. I got it on clearance at Hobby, at Hobby Lobby, but they have it at Joann's, and I don't think they have it at Michael's, but they would definitely have it on the Lion Brand website. And then there is the little teether piece, so just big enough for baby to hold and have a little tiny piece of something soft while using the teether. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have links for things in the description box as well as information on how to follow me on other social media. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!